Welcome to Lad and Dad Halloween edition. Oh yeah. I don't know what gives that away. No idea. <laughs> Doing something a little bit different. We're counting down our top five Halloween films. Yep. We've negotiated our top five and we, we've got somewhere. Yeah. So we're going to start with number five. And number five, Jesus. Number five is The Shining. Now, The Shining was released in May 1980, so a classic 80s film. Uh, Stanley Kubrick, Kubrick produced yeah. the film. Yep. Great producer. Yep. Known for a lot of things. 2001. 2001. Clockwork Orange. Clockwork Orange. I mentioned that last one of the last videos. Uh, Stephen King wrote the, uh, the book. Yep. So it was made into the film. So obviously Stephen King, known for his horror his horror books yep. Jack Nicholson of course Rain Man. the star and Shelley yep. Duvall oh. was the lady yep. now I'll start with you why Why have we we or you decided that The Shining should be in the top five for you it's, it's just a great film I mean it stands on its own feet let alone being a spooky film it's uh, it's just so well made Stephen King, it, yeah, a Stephen King classic, yeah, and Kubrick's direction's amazing, and yeah, it's just a classic. It could be stand up on its own, to be honest, a classic on its own. What makes it for you then a Halloween film, though? I think personally, I like like possession type films for Halloween rather than slasher movies. That's not really okay. my my thing. I prefer more of that, and I think it's uh, Jack Nicholson play, portrays it brilliantly. The man descending into madness. The undercurrent of the child being the sort of um, conduit that all these spooky things are happening through. The She's all right though. Oh yeah. It don't affect her. No, it's, no, no. It's it's the child has got some sort of supernatural mm. power, and Jack's obviously teetering on the edge as he usually is. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just the feel of it, and an empty hotel. You can't, that's spooky anyway, just to start with. The isolation. Isolation, yeah. It's got everything. The film as well is the build-up. Yeah. Because it takes yeah. a while for obviously it yeah. all to kick it's in. It's a slow burner. Yeah. yeah. But, like a slow burner yeah. can sometimes make you stop watching. Yeah. And just some of the scenes are amazing. The bar like, scene. The bar scene. It's the, bizarre. The kid on a bike.
Yeah. Even the carpet. Was that the two girls? Or was that a different film? Different film. Different film, was it? <laughs> I thought there were two girls at the end of the hallway. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you are right, yeah. The kid riding the bike down the hallway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And what, there was a room number, weren't there? Oh, yeah. It's, it's difficult, it is, because... I haven't seen it for, like... I haven't seen it for ages. Donkey's years. Probably last Halloween, maybe. Yeah. To remember the bits, like, the most classic scene of all time in films is... Oh, the, the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Johnny, yeah. that's a classic. I can relate to that scene. You know, you, you know, you need to go to the toilet. Mrs. Can you been in not relate to the scene? Can you relate to the film? <laughs> I can relate to the film Lockdown. Yeah, because you, you were isolated. Yeah. You were spending time with your wife and children. Yeah. A lot of time, <laughs> and you were starting to get a little bit, yeah, like, a bit stir crazy, a little bit like. Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah. There's a scene in there where there's blood coming out the Look. lift. Yeah. Is that and wow? Well, yeah, is. yeah, and a bath. I think, and there a bath full of blood. A bath full of but red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum, red, red rum. rum. It was moida. <laughs> there was no gangster elements. <laughs> red rum, backwards, murder. Yeah, I know. We, <laughs> you were from Brooklyn. Yeah, but if you say murder, you've got to say it was murder. murder. <laughs> you go Scottish though as well, couldn't you? you could, murder. It was murder. <laughs> anyway, we've got a bit off course yeah, here. Yeah. There was um, there was the um, the other gentleman as well. Um, he was the nice guy. Who, what was he? Was he a caretaker? It's the best place I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, this whole place is such an enormous maze. I feel like I'll have to leave a trail of breadcrumbs every time I come in. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let it get you down, Mrs. Torrance. It's big, but it still ain't nothing but a kitchen. I can't remember who he was. We probably should have done more homework. Yeah, probably should have watched the film. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, because I got time to do yeah, that. Yeah, can't remember. All I remember is pretty damn good film. Pretty damn good film, yeah. And at the end, with the maze, yeah, maze level, good maze. Yeah, yeah. just a, a great film. Yeah. Would you class it though? Though scary. I think so. I think it's unsettling rather than scary, but I quite like that. We got a, I got a test see for scary films. Yeah. Could you watch the film in a pitch dark? I probably could. Yeah. Yeah, I probably could. So maybe it's more of a psychological fear yeah. Yeah, I think with it the shining yeah. Yeah. than an actual scary yeah, it's not really, movie. It's not terrifying, is it? It's, no. It's more, as I say, a slow burner, really. Yeah. yeah. So it's so a shining then, fifth. Yeah, do you think that's a decent I position? Think so. Yeah, I think so. It's so. not about it's not about how good the film is necessarily. No, no. no, for this Halloween top five. Yeah, it could be the worst writing in the world, yeah. but could be number one. Yeah, in it. Yeah, it, it doesn't really matter if it's a an amazing, amazing film. No, no. it's all about the fear factor. So number five, number we're five. happy. I think I'm unhappy with that. You're happy with a yeah, shining? Happy with five. Yeah. Obviously, the more we go in, four, three, two, one. You could argue where we are, but number five, guys, The Shining. And we will see you for the next video. Ooh.